There are many ways to add a little extra flair to your videos using motion graphics, and one of the easiest is by animating text. Here are three basic ways to animate text in Adobe After Effects. The first thing you need to do for any of these methods is create a text layer. Create a new composition and select the horizontal type tool or press Ctrl or Command T. Click in the composition window where you want the text layer to be and begin typing. Then click on the text layer name when you're finished. Next, open the character panel and the paragraph panel. Select your text and choose a font that you like as well as the size of your text. You can also change the alignment if you want. Now you're ready to animate. By far the easiest way to animate text is to utilize the position, scale, rotation, and opacity properties on your text layer. For all of these properties, go to the spot in the timeline where you want the animation to start, then adjust the property to your liking. Create a new keyframe by clicking the stopwatch, then go to the spot in the timeline where you want the animation to end and adjust the property there. This should create a new keyframe with a new value. You can also create a new keyframe by clicking the stopwatch, then adjust it afterward. You can create three-dimensional movements by clicking on the 3D layer button box, letting you add movements on the Z axis and rotate text on the X and Y axes. All the text effects can be accessed through the Effects and Presets panel. Open the Animation Presets folder, then open the text folder to see all the presets. Then just drag and drop the preferred animation onto your text layer, or double-click the preset if your layer is selected. If you prefer, you can preview the animations first in Adobe Bridge by clicking on your text layer and going to Animation, Browse Presets. This will automatically open Adobe Bridge and allow you to see each animation preset. Then just double click on the preset and it will apply directly on your text layer in After Effects. To make any adjustments to the animation, open up the animation layer by twirling down the arrow or pressing the letter U. Then drag the keyframes closer together or further apart to fit your timing. Preset animations aren't your thing, or you want to animate your text manually, you can use the built-in animators. Create a new text layer and place it under your first one. Expand this layer and locate the Animate menu, then click on the pop-up triangle to open the list of animation properties. Choose the property you want to animate, then create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch. Adjust the property's value the way you'd like the animation to start, then move to where you want the animation to end and create another keyframe. Adjust this keyframe's properties, as well as its location forward or backward in the composition to adjust the speed and timing. The last adjustment you can make is to expand the advanced property and change the based on section between letters and words. Experiment here and see what you like best, especially if you only have a couple of words. Close your animator layers and select the text layer. Click U to see all of the keyframes, then ease them in or out to make them more gradual, either by pressing F9 or by selecting all and right or control clicking on them. The last thing to do here is to close your animator layers and rename them so you can keep track of each animation. In all of these methods, you should always turn on the motion blur by checking the box, making your animations look more natural. You should also preview your animations to make sure they look the way you want them, then render them once you've got something you're happy with. Remember that there are tons of ways to animate text within After Effects. The key is to practice the techniques and play with the software. Experiment a lot, and you'll be surprised how easy it is to create complex animations in After Effects. So what do you think? What are some of your favorite ways to animate text in After Effects? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, learn how to use 2D animations in your videos by clicking here, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. You can also read the Pond5 blog for an in-depth companion piece as well as other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com to get millions of video clips and other assets to use in your next project.